Oh. Come on, the old Help the Heroes mug today. Listen, guys. I ain't a hero, but I need help. Still feel ill. So I'm having another day off. I feel a bit better today. But I'm not going to chance going into work. Um, anyway, guys. That can only mean one thing. Back on the filter build. Filter house build. Oh, that's hot. Just spilt it all over my fingers. I'm tough, though. Do you know what? I'll make everyone laugh. I had a dream. I just had a little nap again this morning. And I had a dream that when I was doing the cladding, I put a nail through my hand with my nail gun and I pulled it out on camera for everyone. That's tempting fate, isn't it? Um, I've nearly caught myself a few times with that bloody nail gun. Um, yeah, lol. So uh, who knows? That might even happen. Um, so that's something exciting to look forward to. Um, right, guy. First, uh, right, guys. First job of the uh, of the day is to see if my measuring was okay. Let me spin you around. Yes, it's like a glove. Look at that for measuring. Told you I had a five mil tolerance. So I'm going to um, I'm going to attach these doors in now with this frame. Uh, then I can work out the height then to the back and then we can work out the window and then I'm going to start putting some wall plates on um, not on the fresh concrete blocks I don't want to go drilling those but I might start making the framework for this lower section um, it's all got to be done so uh, slow and steady catch your monkey right guys um, so my frame is in I think I've just mentioned that but um, what I've done is I've gone down to get a load of uh, two by um, two by four CLS um, to make the framework. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll come back and I'll show you a bit more framework as I come to get it done. Right, guys, guys, guys. Right, guys. Um, yeah, another day. Bit, 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 but I, but I, but. Remember Bo Selector. Ali G, innit? Right, uh, you can tell by my face that I've been grinding something. So anyway, I've been working on this now for a few hours. Um, got some timber this morning to do the frame. I am literally one bit of timber down from completing the frame, but that's no problem. Uh, there's always tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to work tomorrow either, actually, so uh, may as well have a bloody week off, haven't I? Um, so yeah. Massive progress, guys. Let me swing you around. Boom, and there she is. I don't know if you can see it from there, guys, but the frame's on. We even have a window in the side. <clears throat> oh, lovely. So that gives me, from the top plate there, um, that gives me exactly uh, about 10, um, about 100 mil tolerance for the top of the backing shower so I can get the lid on and off for a three tier. Also, um, yeah, it's all done, guys. They're not exactly 600s, um, but um, it, it's just been awkward sizes. There's no point uh, getting it onto 600s. I've just done it in the centers, basically. So I get one sheet of king span and uh, should be able to get most of this completely with one sheet, maybe maybe two maximum. But um, the only thing I'm down is uh, one, two columns here. I've got to put a thinner bit of wood across there because just the way it was. But um, I have embedded it in on the wall plate. This, as you can see, has got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a gap there. Um, is where it is. It's because I, I built that onto an existing wall, so uh, I had to pull that up quite uh, drastically. But. Um, it's not worked out too too shabby, guys. So that's my view I've got from my patio doors. This is a little bit dusty, but um, so I had to I had to grind 13 mil, a 13 cm or 1300, whatever you want to call it, um, from out of here, so um, it would fit for the drop. Um, I'm not sure what drop I've got, but ample, ample for a rubber roof. Um, 
<coughs> that's all fitted in lovely. That's a little bit flimsy there, so I'm going to uh, set a, a course of bricks across there once I've done the patio so uh, it supports that. Um, because I think these patio doors come out basically a, a double cavity. So obviously this is this would have sat on the outside cavity. So I, I, I'll make an outside cavity for that um, to sit in. But guys, yeah. So I was going to put another window there, but I thought there's so much light now in there. You know, we've got full size French doors there and uh, we've got this here. So, uh, yeah, get the dust off that later on. Um, obviously this will be all clad and shuttered inside. And what I've done here, guys, is cunningly, um, because I want to render the wall here, I've actually left about uh, five to seven mil here. So when I'm rendering, the render will stop on this and I can still I can still hammer and clad onto this so the render will come up and I can use this as a, as, as a bead, basically, and come straight down. So I've got that all the way around all the way around here. Obviously I've got to put like uh, some beads on here. I'll put an end, a stop bead on here so it stops. Um, but what that's allowed me to do as well, guys, is it's given me about 10, 12 mil here. So my OSB board will come straight down and it will stop there. So the wall and the board will be totally flush all the way up. Um, so it gives me more options then to do what I want to do, because what I didn't want to do is have the board overlapping this 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 concrete, the board overlapping the concrete wall here. Um, yeah, so this is lovely and flush here. So um, I'm thinking about tiling this, and what I wouldn't mind doing is, is just tiling up to this, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on the top. I am not sure, I'm not going to lie, guys. I haven't got a clue, so um, we'll, uh, we'll work that out when we get to it. But. Yeah, this is my new pump house, guys. So we've got a nice bit of room up here, almost a full stretch, but this is as low as I could make it, you know? So um, what I'm gonna try to do is keep the the the, uh, the roof joist as low as I can, you know? Um, but uh, I'm not quite sure we're gonna do those yet. Up here, yeah, I got about the same room, actually, a little bit more up here. So, um, yeah. Let's have a look down here again. I think I just let a fart out then, guys. I'm sorry, I've been struggling all day. But uh, let's jump over onto the Mr. Miyagi's grass patch. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, that is lovely. So if I ever move from this house, guys, someone's got a lovely little man shed as well. Very nice. Once this is all patio, little fire pit, a lovely little private area there. I can actually nude sunbathe here now in the summer, I reckon. Let me have a little look. Oof, nearly caught the old gonads there. So when I'm here, oh yes, look at that. We've just got one blacked out window. Oh mate, I'm gonna get me cojones out here, pal. We are sunbathing nude this summer coming. So uh, yeah, happy days. Still wondering what cladding I'm gonna put on this. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, the price of timber, guys, is incredible. So literally, these little off cuts is all I've got left. From that timber there, and that timber cost me 170 quid. Jesus. Pump house, guys, coming on. Into the office, the backy shower. Don't look at the pipe work, it's all gonna be redone. But we're getting there, we are getting there. Well, kaboom, here we are, guys. So, uh, I'm pretty chuffed as well because I run out of timber and see the little, the darker ones, and there's a couple of darker ones on the other side. Um, they're from Mr. Miyagi's old love hut. So, uh, there's a little bit of Mr. Miyagi in there, so we'll have to name it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the Samurai, the Samurai Filter House or something like that. So, um, yeah, let me show you on the outside first, guys. So we've got an amazing window in there. Oh, God, I nearly tripped over the bloody hose. And uh, well, my dog's not drinking the koi with the water. The koi are quite happy. 
one of the Shinoda twins. But that's for another day, guys. So here we are. Little bit of Mr. Miyagi's love hut. So wherever you can see the timber frame, guys, that's going to be clad in. Um, I, got, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Possibly I'm going to clad that section as well. I, I don't know yet, guys. This is... Um, I'm doing this off the top of my head. So uh, so tomorrow what I've got to do is... Um, I've got to move those canoes. They look terrible here, don't they? Um, so like I said, all the way around, I've left a chamfer here. So uh, for pretty much a, a, a rain drip. So, you know, by the time I do that and clad it, it'll be offset a little bit. So everything will fall down. Um, let's go inside the love hut. No, the samurai hut. Here we are, guys. So... Here's a samurai hut, hey! So, I've never done a wood frame before, guys. Um, I don't know if that's how you do the corners, but to me, that makes sense because I've got a flat corner for each side. Um, that makes sense to me. Uh, so, we've got the window in here, guys. Which opens out. We've also got some sort of ventilation up there. But uh, this is going to be good in a in the summer because it's got that kind of lock where it cracks a little bit so uh, i think all windows are standard like that um there's my three patio doors so they're sitting about 100 mil low in there so basically this the slab goes across and drops down and um you know it's sitting is sitting down low but um this is a little bit weak guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build up a um a set of uh, bricks across there so uh, when i do stand on that there's no flex or anything like that but um obviously that threshold was for a, a double cav wall well they were free so i can't complain um but they work fine guys so uh might need a bit of adjusting on the bottom but uh yeah yeah need a little bit of adjusting on the bottom but i'll do that when it's all done um yeah chuffed guys very chuffed so um someone commented yesterday saying you can't keep your air source heat pump inside well i you know i know that that it's there temporarily to keep the pond heated until i do my patio by there and then this air source heat pump is a meter wide okay the gap from that wall to that wall is exactly a meter wide. So that air source heat pump is gonna sit exactly there. So when I open this door, it's gonna break it. No, it, it will it will open and it will just touch that air source heat pump. So um, that's the score with that. Um, obviously none of this is gonna be here. That's where my drum filter is gonna sit in there. So I think I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all of this bottom bottom area here as pretty much my area. So I've put a few noggins across here uh, in case I want to fix a shelf there. So I've got something solid to fix to. Um, I don't think those were necessary, but I had some spare timber. So uh, I thought it'd be cool to, to follow the uh, the wall plate all the way all the way across, basically. So. Um, so that's going to be good. Um, don't look at that. That post is obviously on the piss. You can see that. That is not quite straight. But uh, that was me trying to be careful not to drop any compo in the pond and not mess around with the blocks too much there because I didn't want to get any cement into the koi pond. So uh, so forgive that. That will be covered. That will not be seen. But that's the only thing that's on the on 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 the on the on the cant. Um, Another couple of people uh, mentioned to me that this won't work, all right? So what you've got to understand is that this here is above pond height. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is put a couple of like um, insulating boards underneath that to make, to make a, bit of, a, a bit of cushioning basically, so it isn't so harsh on that, on that block, not that I need to, but it'll raise up another inch, so it'll be one inch above the pond water now you can see the skimmer there okay so you can see it is just about the same as the, the pond water when the water trickles in okay it's it's gonna have a four inch spigot here it's gonna have a four inch pipe 
returning into the into the pond about 18 inches below the surface so it's it's going to pretty much equalize the pressure will be equalized so when as more water comes down it will just f naturally flow through now i know andy from koi diaries has done a very similar thing i've also got a couple of mates in the youtube uh, youtube world that's also done the same thing and they assure me that it's going to work and in my mind i'm pr i'm positive it's going to work famous last words but anyway um it's just going to equalize like i said and the more water that comes down there it, it's just going to flow and push it out on itself with gravity all right um so that's the plan and if it doesn't work well then i'll have to put a pump underneath there to actually pump it out but it, it, it i know it's going to work there is no doubt in my mind Give Mrs. Hadfield up there, look. Oh, well, hello, Mrs. Hadfield. I've got a surprise for you. Imagine if she's cheating on me. Ah, she might be talking to Leroy. Anyway, good on her. Um, yeah, so I think that's all for tonight, guys. So, um, so I hope you like the samurai hut. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to have to call it. And another reason I'm going to call it the samurai hut Behind me here is going to be a solid wall. The piece of artwork I've got to go here cost a couple of quid. It's a limited print by a tattoo artist called Horiyoshi III, who is the third generation tattooist in Tokyo, Japan. Tattoos all the Yakuza's. He's actually got a finger missing as well because he's been a naughty boy in the past. Um, but one of the most famous, if not the most famous Japanese tattooist in the world. Um, I have got a wicked piece of artwork from him. Uh, it's a limited, it's not signed, but it's limited to, uh, I think, 50. And, um, mate, it's going to make this place look the monkeys. So behind me there is going to be the samurai artwork for the samurai hut. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this, um, this one. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm probably going to take the day off tomorrow. I may as well just take the week off, haven't I? So, uh, so that end of things might even have another video tomorrow mm. um roof tomorrow guys i think or yeah we'll do roof choice tomorrow and i might even get some osb boards and start cladding the inside so i phoned up my um my builder mate uh and and i said to him i said hey nicky i said run it past me again now i said so i put the osb on the inside here which I've already made this lovely little recess for, right? So I said, you put the OSB board, then you put the um, the insulation, and then you put the um, breathable waterproof membrane on the outside, and then you clad it. He goes, no, it's the other way around, you idiot. But you can do it that way. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other, isn't it? So um, um, I'm probably going to end up bored in the both sides to be honest um, it's just going to make it a little bit more structurally sound and it will give me a little tiny bit more of a step off for the drip tray well for the drip drip tray drip trim drip something i don't know but i'm going to put a little bit of wood underneath so it drips off and it tries to keep as much as i can this block work here um uh, as dry as possible because obviously it's only single skin so um there is possibility of a bit of um a bit of damp working through which i'm not really caring about because it is at the end of the day it's a filter house and it's going to be uh, you know the ambient air in here is going to be probably 100 percent humidity anyway with the heater on and uh and and and, and, the, and the spray going off in the drum and the uh, shower etc so um so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video um i'm absolutely buzzing about this ah mosquito Mosquitoes bloody love me, guys. I'll tell you a really funny story if someone reminds me about uh, the Blee's jungle. Um, I'm not going to tell it now because the video will be too long. But anyway, um, yeah, I pulled some ticks off some strange places there. And mozzies love me. Anyway, guys, so um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Really helps my channel, to be honest. Um, and uh, please hit your notification bells. ding a ling 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 to get regular updates and um, to remind you that I am in the background of your life somehow. So um, anyway, thanks guys. Oh. And I'll catch you on the next one.